Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, like the video. Also comment, let me know your thoughts on the case. Now it's been one month since Fredo has been whisked away to his new home in Dubai cell after allegedly being caught with weed of all things. Now he hadn't consumed it, he had it on his persons. That's 30 days he's been sitting in a cell with probably 30 or 50 or 100 other men. Now fans both in the UK and abroad are still wondering what's the point of UK rapper Fredo having management, people like CEO Mouth, if no one could tell Fredo that he should be on his best behaviour when abroad, especially in a Middle Eastern country like Dubai, where they play no games. After all, it's not Fredo's first run in in Dubai. Now according to rumours, Fredo was pulled over. Now when you're pulled over in Dubai, normally you can give some money or pay a fine and then be back on your way. However, it's alleged that Fredo was holding weed in cheeks of all places and was caught, hence why he has not been released. After all, gear and laws in Dubai are serious issues. Now it's more serious when you stash it on you rather than it being in your bloodstream. Now according to the same rumours, Fredo has caught next week where he will have the opportunity to resolve the issue. Now the best case scenario is that Fredo will pay restitution possibly a few thousand pounds. Worst case scenario is that it could be sentenced to 25 years. It's been done to other people that have been in the UK. For example, the sports cult, Billy Hood. He was sentenced to 25 years and then he got it reduced to 10 years on appeal. And that's because he had the weed on himself in person. He hadn't consumed it and it hadn't been in his bloodstream. It was actual possession. Now hopefully, Fredo gets the outcome he wants. Stay safe safe.